this year we'll be showcasing the Discovery IGS 7 OR. Uh, customers that are considering a high-end imaging system in this space have three main challenges. The first challenge is utilization rate. The ORs are a very expensive asset in the hospitals and making sure that you do not cannibalize or underutilize your OR is important to customers. The second challenge that they have is that they're looking for ORs that are versatile. The ability to really be able to flex between open procedures and minimally invasive procedures. And the third challenge that they face is as they move to more minimally invasive invasive challenges or minimally invasive procedures, how will advanced techniques and advanced imaging help them move uh, patients more towards this uh, minimally invasive therapy and offering their patients a shorter recovery time uh, and uh, less complications. So let's take a look at what the discovery can do to address these challenges. So the first challenge, which is the utilization rate. So today the Discovery 7 OR is equipped with a McKay table. This McKay table has interchangeable tabletops. These interchangeable tabletops allow physicians to do any type of procedures uh, that they're currently already accustomed to into the OR. Uh, second, we've implemented a full fleet of accessories that physicians would need to address these uh, procedures like head holders, arm boards, head extensors and so forth. Going to the second challenge about being able to uh, address minimally invasive therapy and surgery procedures. The Discovery 7 OR is a unique mobile gantry that allows the gantry to be moved out of the way into or into the imaging space at any time. It has unique parking positions as well as back out positions to be able to uh, secure this, uh, this safety and uh, patient access capabilities that customers are looking for. And the third challenge that I mentioned is how can we bring more minimally invasive therapies into these type of suites and what type of imaging do we have to address this? Well, GE offers a full fleet of advanced applications called Assist and customers that have been using Assist experience a various uh, amount of benefits, either dose, uh, contrast reduction or time reduction. Customers have recently published on, uh, for example, uh, the ability to have 12 times lower dose than uh, published literature for EVAR procedures. They're talking about a 33% lower dose or contrast in TAVI procedures, and they're talking about a 97% accuracy or ability to do recanalization using vessel assist. So these are just some benefits that we are offering uh, for patients and for hospitals uh, with the Discovery 7 OR. And now with this new edition, we're expanding those benefits into new clinical areas like neuro, spine, and orthopedics. So as Miranda was mentioning, let's see how advanced visualization helps improve outcomes to our uh, physicians and our patients. And let's see that through three examples. The first one is about complex EVA procedures. As we know, this procedure is highly demanding in terms of fluoro time and requires a numerous number of uh, DSA acquisitions. So, EVA Assist allows you to plan procedure, complex procedure, using preoperative data um, that you can then overlay on fluoroscopy to guide with confidence your devices uh, on the anatomy. This helps reduce the radiation dose by up to 12 times compared to published data uh, that we see for this type of procedure. The second example I'm going to highlight is about structural art procedures. Let's take this example of patients having uh, eligible for TAVR procedure. And usually these patients are running under renal failure. So it's very important to reduce contrast media for this patient. With Valve Assist 2, we have the ability to plan this procedure using preoperative imaging. As you can see here, we have this possibility to use preoperative CT to size the implant that we are going to insert. And we have the possibility as well to see the uh, calcification distribution and all, all of this preoperative data can be then be overlaid over fluoroscopy to help for the procedure and thus reducing contrast media. Um, we have shown that valve assist allows to reduce by up to 33% the amount of contrast media for that type of procedures. The last example I'm going to highlight is about peripheral chronic total occlusions. These patients who are not eligible for open surgery, minimally invasive treatment is a great alternative. So the difficulty for this type of case is to obtain a technical success. So what we can offer with Vessel Assist is the ability to leverage preoperative images to build a virtual line from the start of the occlusion to the re-entry and then leverage this uh, information during the procedure to guide the devices within the occlusion. This is really helpful as uh, it can uh, 
improve the technical success of this procedure to reach up to 97% of technical success. This is a great outcome as well for this type of patient. So as you can see, with our ACIS solution, we have the ability to push further the boundaries of minimally invasive treatments by offering solutions to help you plan, guide, assess procedures, and thus ultimately improve the outcome uh, for our physicians and their patients. So in summary, the Discovery IGS-7OR is a unique mobile gantry that brings high-end imaging to a variety of minimally invasive therapies, ranging from a vascular to cardiac, now all the way to neuro and spine, giving customers the benefits on dose, contrast, and time reduction that they're looking for.